working on a thing for work and part of it is that we get to eat the caviar from the hundred dollar caviar vending machine. like dirty sea lake water all together in one. Yeah. But you can't stop eating it. I've had it before. Why is it? It tastes like lake water. I don't know if I got that last one. That's fine. It tastes like lake water. Fine. It needs That's the so dill. Weird. It's so weird. It really needs like the dill. Did you try one yet? Oh, it's the best. Oh. Okay. No, not on the Dorito. Do not like. Mm -mm. Going to meet friends to go see Baby Driver. I hope it's good. Everyone's been saying it's good. We'll see. So, what is it you do? I'm a driver. Oh, like a chauffeur. Anyone I'd know? I really, really liked it. I thought it was super fun and and great and the music was awesome. I like I'd write stuff so it was good. It was good. If if I had to critique, um, I would make one of two changes. Um, not that the actors were bad or anything, but um, for the role of Deborah, the main the main love interest, I think it would have been really cool to see maybe a black girl in that role. Um, mostly because she plays like this very pure and innocent character and and I, I thought she was sweet I thought she was cool I liked her I like I thought I felt she had her own agency like all her decisions well some of them were dumb um, I felt she made of her own volition um, but she was represented she represented this like very sweet very very sweet pure innocent character and you don't see that for black women in, in roles really um, so I would have, I would have just liked that, um, because it would have, it would have switched things up. And, or, <laughs> I adore the actor who played Baby, he was real cool, he's real sweet. Um, again, uh, it would have been a, a completely cool, different movie if it was a girl. I don't know, you don't get to see girl runaway drivers and all that stuff. Um, but I feel that's a big, that's even a bigger thing. I understand what kind of, like, stylizing that they wanted to do for this movie, so I get it. I'm not, I'm not mad, I'm not upset. I just think it would have been, those would have been neat. And maybe in the future, I'd like to see roles like that for, for women and or people of color, women of color in particular. Yeah, that's all. But good movie, go see it. I, re I highly recommend it. And, oh, and for whatever reason, I have a really bad headache and I feel kind of nauseous. So, I don't know, driving home is going to be interesting. I don't feel really good. I think it was the caviar. Mm. It's Friday! I'm going to a friend's birthday party at a skating rink. It's gonna be super fun! Yeah! Even though I'm really, really tired from the week. Really tired. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Mm.
I guess I'll have time. It's great! Okay. It's Erica's birthday! Well, not technically. It is, though. Yeah, yeah it's Emily's birthday. going to the night market and it's going to be a lot of food trucks and art and things like that. There's so much. There's too many things. There's too many things. I don't know what to do. There's so many options you guys. <laughs> Oh my god! It is calamansi juice and iced tea mixed together. It's a Filipino Arnold Palmer and it's really good and it's in a science bag. So good. Ah. Kenny didn't for care for them and he went to the restroom. I like finished this and and destroyed it really. I like all those are empty. Uh, and it was very messy, so I didn't record myself eating because it was just you know crawfish juices everywhere. It was great. I definitely I definitely liked it. Like it, it, like it like, tastes it good. good. It tastes it really just good. Little, just not a little messy. Very not, messy. Not good for like not, food Yeah, not a good street I would food. Not, I would eat it again, just not good. Right, same, same. I'm so happy I had it. I haven't had crawfish in like a, over years, years. It was so I've good. I've never had it. So you like the taste? I like it. Okay, it was, good. It was kind of, kind of shrimpy, but also it, it tasted like, like creek water. That, that. A little bit, yeah. yeah. But it's like charming. Yeah. Like a, like, a, like a floral, sweet, fruity taro. And kind of creamy. Yeah, if you don't know what taro tastes like, um, <laughs> it's kind of... You're missing out. It's kind of <laughs> like a, at least the cupcake version, it's kind of like a red velvet, but not chocolatey. It's like a fruity red velvet. Yeah. And it, I can't describe what the fruit it's, is. It's like, it's just, it's like a fruity. It's almost kind of like a plum, sort of. Sort of, yeah. It's definitely tart, but it's like... Great, it's really good. I wanted to try ube ever since the Steven Universe episode where Lars makes an ube cake and then he abandoned it. And so it made me go, that's a waste of food and I wanna try it. So now I got to try it. So that was great, it's good. It's Sunday, I just got out of a stretch yoga class and now I'm going to probably run a couple errands and try to buy some yogurt because uh, Orbit is, is puking. She's puking. It turns out um, the antibiotics that she's on, even though it worked, she does not have a sinus infection anymore. Sometimes the side effect is that their stomach gets upset and, and they get nauseous after, after they're done with it, which concerns me because I'm going out of town next week and I don't want her to be, to be doing that when I'm gone, even though I have people checking up on them and everything. But still, still, you know, so I'm gonna go get her some yogurt and maybe she'll like it and it'll settle her tummy so she, so she could be fine. But I'm glad she's technically doesn't have the sniffles anymore and everything I read online said that this is, this sometimes happens and it goes away. So, yay. <laughs> Oop, 
Maka, do you want to try it? You're not about it. I gotta wipe that off your head. Don't go away. Oh.